we're going to use Excel to be able to look up data from a table. Okay, so we have our Excel. Uh, go ahead and go to blank workbook. And uh, what we'll do is uh, just type in a little bit of data on CO2 emissions from different countries. So in a first column, I'm going to have the country. And then in the second column, I'll do millions of tons of CO2. Okay, and so our first country that we'll have is USA, uh, China, and India, uh, Russia, and Japan. Okay, and um, millions of tons of CO2 for each in terms of how much they use from fossil fuels. Um, I'll go ahead and just type those in. Um, and 1308.4. Okay, so we have the country, millions of tons. You can format uh, this table. Control B for bold, Control U for underline, for example. Um, you can double click here on the column just to make it um, give it a little bit more space. I'm just going to go ahead and select this region and then insert a pie chart just to be able to look at the data. So just a, a, a 2D pie chart. Uh, just be able to see how much uh, each country uses. Okay, so there's my pie chart. But let's say I have um, all of the countries listed in the world, and um, I want to be able to write something that will be able to look up the uh, the value for that particular country. So I can use the, um, let's see, I'll say uh, look up, um, let's say I want to look up China. Okay, so this is the value that I'm going to, to look up to be able to use somewhere else in my workbook. And so I can use the VLOOKUP function. Okay, and then I want to look up this value that I have in cell B10. In that case, it's China. Okay, and then I select my table array. Now you can see here, you have lookup value, table array, you'll have a column index. So as you type this, it'll help you as you uh, go through these different things. Okay, so here I have table array. I'll just select uh, the table. That's B3 and then colon C7. Okay, and then if I want to make that a, a static reference, I can do uh, my F4 and then it puts the, uh, the dollar sign in front of the, the numbers and the letters so as I drag it down, it doesn't change those references. It'll make those absolute references versus relative references. Okay, and then I'll uh, do comma and then two. And that means I'm gonna take uh, the results from the second column. So I have the first column, which is the country, and then the second column, which is, um, in this case, the millions of tons of CO2. But let's say I had, like maybe in column D, as well, the GDP, the gross domestic product, or something else, I could also look up that value by putting a three there. And then I have a true or a false. If you have true, it assumes that your first row, or your first column is uh, sorted. Um, but I'll just put false because I want to search for an exact match to that. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and type in false, and then it looks up the value uh, for China. Okay, so let's say I have uh, Finland as well, and then USA. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down. Now again, my only relative reference was that first one. Okay, so it shifted down to B12, um, and then these had the dollar signs in front of them, so as I dragged that formula down, it kept those constant. You can see Finland is not in my list. Um, and so it returned uh, NA for that, um, for that cell, meaning that it couldn't find that value. Okay, but if I had something like, um, well, it assumes I have to have it in, in uh, sorted order if I do the faults instead, an approximate lookup. Okay, so that is lookup. Um, what I can do as well is go ahead and just sort this list. So I'm gonna come to data and then I'm going to come to the, uh, the sort, okay? And um, so just deselect my data has headers. If you didn't uh, include the headers, 
but then you got to select what you want to sort by. So I'll go ahead and uh, sort by column B, for example, um, on value. So it's going to put it in alphabetical order. If I selected C, um, then it would sort either smallest to largest or largest uh, to smallest. Okay, so I'll just sort by country name, A to Z. Okay, so just alphabetized um, the values, but you can see these values that I'm looking up from that table, those, those did not change. Okay, there's a related function which is called HLOOKUP, which is a horizontal lookup versus a vertical lookup. So let me go ahead and just copy this data uh, right here in this table. Um, control C will copy it and then I will come over here and under home I'll have a paste and then this little down arrow I'll go ahead and select that and there's different types of pastes that you can do. Uh, this one I want to do a transpose. So it's just going to transpose that data um, and it puts, um, you know, it converts all the columns into rows. And then I can also look up uh, from this table Okay, so in this case, I'll do an H lookup instead. So in this case, I want to look up the value in C10. Um, here is my table. Okay, I'll just go ahead and select that and then hit the F4 key to make that static if I want to drag it down. And then I want to take the row index. This is going to be the second one. And then I'm going to have an exact match. Okay, so I put false there. Okay, and I get the same number just looking it up from a horizontal lookup versus a vertical lookup instead. Okay, so that just concludes this um, tutorial. There's a lot of different functions within Excel. Just go ahead and click this uh, insert function. Okay, and you can type a, a description of what you want to insert as a function, you know, whether it's VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, um, and there's also very good help here if you just select the uh, Microsoft Help or F1.